Whatever happens, I'll always be her best friend! Ahoy! My name is Skip, and today, I'm going to be explaining the story of It Takes Two in five minutes or less. Maybe. Probably not. A quick warning before you watch this video. This video will contain some spoilers. Actually, this entire video is exclusively spoilers. If you haven't played It Takes Two yet, save this, play the game, come back, comment, sub, share, and watch 30 more times, and illegally download it. Thank you! Our story begins introducing our three main characters. May, Cody, and their baby chimp. I... I forgot her name, so we're just gonna call her Caesar. A uh, quick disclaimer, Caesar might have autism or some kind of Down syndrome. I'm not making fun of her based on that, she just looks like a baby chimp, so... Just getting that out of the way, but thank you. Within the first few minutes, we realize that Caesar is a saddie, but because her parents hate each other. After her parents break the news to her that love is fake, she runs upstairs to her Coraline-looking voodoo doll she created, and prays to her Hispanic demon book to have her parents friends on each other. I wish you could be friends again. Uh-oh. Oh, it's so sad. You hear yeah. Echo? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I do. How weird. I don't hear it. <laughs> Shut up. After sprinkling the tears of a young virgin girl, magically the dolls come alive, with Cody and May inhabiting the dollish counterparts. They're immediately greeted by what can only be described as a PG jigsaw, who says some Spanish things like Wandissimo from the Fairly Odd Parents, causing May to immediately off herself. After realizing what we all know that suicide is not the answer, especially since you respawn, the demon book gives them some advice about working together or some garbage. But instead of listening, they go to this sucker. But instead of listening, they... But instead of listening, they go to- uh, But instead of listening, they just- Oh my god. But instead of listening, they go to this sucker and give him a blow to the face. Taking his most precious sense. His sight. My eyes! The two unnatural creations come to the conclusion that the only way to return to their passionless corpses is to cause their daughter to cry on them. Honestly, that's so messed up, I have nothing to add. So on their way to go to make their daughter cry. But not without going on a bee genocide. Dropping acid! Oh, look at me just... No, what? what? Flip. Where are we? Oh, I love it! That's terrifying! Oh, I died! I did too. Oh, I'm on him! And kicking a squirrel in his acorns <laughs> and snapping his spinal column. Oh, yes! <laughs> Once they arrive in the room, May and Cody run into Caesar's neglected look-alike American Girl doll, Moon Baboon, and immediately beat the fluff out of him, which leads them directly to their clinically depressed primate child. They quickly realize their daughter is either blind and deaf, or they're invisible, so they set their sights on her best friend and most precious and cherished possession, an adorable queen elephant. Wow! With a quick detour to live out Cody's tentacle fantasies to destroy this octop- octopi- octopies? Octopus? Oh, no. This nine-armed aquatic cephalopodus's pirate booty. Why was that so much easier to say? Bonnie and Clyde finally arrive to murder the only thing their simian spot ever loved. They slowly begin torturing their victim by severing and dismembering her limbs as she begs for mercy until finally Spartan kicking Mufasa off the dresser. Long live the king. <laughs> Curious George overhears the sickening thud of a body smashing into concrete and proceeds to weep over the death of her only friend. We interrupt this program to bring you a quick commercial break and talk about our only friend's hoodie. Yes, that is in fact the only friend's hoodie from Super Skip 64. You can buy yours now, link in the description, or go to www.superskipmerch.com forward slash dot gov twitch dot Help. The mentally abusive parents bathe in the young chimp's tears to no avail, but discover Caesar's death note. Before they finish reading it, Hispanic Satan rips it in four pieces and forces Zack and Cody to work together to earn them back. Meanwhile, in the real world, Boots the Monkey tries to manipulate her parents' lifeless carcasses and defeating her or whatever, but they can't because they're in a depression coma or something. May and June fight for their lives to get back to their daughter. Like it! Comment! Subscribe! Like it! Subscribe! Patreon! No playing around! Oh yeah! Oh. <laughs> no smelling the flowers! This isn't a vacation! There is no time to to do to take inhale pot. I, do, I don't I have I don't I is, is it a mole? Oh my god! At this point in the story, we find out that February gave up her singing career because the boo spun in in an unfortunate time. She prepares for her return to singing by playing chess, Mario Kart, taking another hit of acid, and kidnapping angels for the Lucifer of love. Mary Kate and Ashley discover a viewfinder with a mysterious male child. 
I can only assume that Diddy Kong ate him, which may have added to the stress and cause for divorce. And that's just a game, sir. Maybelline finally sings, and the game makes me and my bro Magikarl make out via cyberbullying. Oh, nope, I have to. <laughs> Good. Never mind. No. Let me go. No. We no. Stop, stop. <laughs> stop, 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 stop. Oh, crud. The emotionally void couple returns to their body to eventually read Koba's death note. They run two yards outside to find Caesar with her elephant amputee on the way to the circus or something. They forgive her for eating her little brother and biting the neighbor's dog. The broken family hugs and learns that Apes together strong. That was legitness. Thank you so much for hanging out and watching this video. Again, if you liked it, if you hated it, comment, like, dislike, tell me your thoughts. I really appreciate it. And let me know what game you want me to do next. Um, I kind of just did this on a whim, but I really did enjoy doing it. It just came to my head and I was just like, this would be fun. After I was playing it with my buddy Magic Carl, a lot of these thoughts came to my mind about her looking like a chimp and it just went from there. Also, there's a full review of this game on my buddy Magic Carl's channel. Go check that out. I am involved in that because it really does take two. I know it's lame, but it's, it's how the life, it's how life works. It's how God made it, okay? You can't argue with God again, you but you're gonna be wrong. So, and again, I appreciate any support you can give me. I love y'all very much. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. And also catch me on Twitch. I stream there Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 10 Eastern Standard Time. No, 8 Standard Standard each Eastern Eastern Standard Time to 10 PM Eastern Standard Time. If I can talk, I'd love to talk. Okay. Thank you all very much. Peace out and have a fantastic day. Stay super. Pew pew! Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Gay!